Hey guys, welcome to Gardening a bit and I hope you are doing very well. In today's video, we would learn why, when and how to prune edenium plant and the best time to do it. We can prune both the stems and roots or we can also say as cordex. In this video, I would provide you some important tips so that you don't get any issues after pruning. If we do small mistakes, our plants may die or even the cordex may get damaged. Like as usual, you would be also able to see the final result. First, let's see why to prune. Of course, there is no need to prune if your edenium plant is already looking much fuller, something like this. This is just one year old plant or else the codex would have been much bigger. I am glad that it's growing very well. Just few days back it was looking like this. Even though there were some long branches, I did not prune my plant as I was able to see lots of new growths coming from the base of the plant. But sometimes our plants become leggy and that time they don't look much attractive. For example, take a look at this plant. To make our plants look much fuller or to get more branches, we need to prune our plants. If you are happy with a plant like this one, means with leggy branches, then you can definitely avoid pruning and let it grow as it prefers. Please note that after pruning, we should get many branches. More branches means more flowers. This is the main reason why we need to prune our edenium plants. Root pruning versus branch pruning. See, we don't need to prune roots always. We only need to do when the roots are getting overcrowded in a pot, means it's pot bound. In that case, they cannot absorb enough water and nutrients. Also, we need to prune roots if we want to reuse, reuse the same pot again. By providing one size or two size larger pot, we can avoid root pruning. But for the enhanced look of your plant, you can definitely prune the roots. Important note. It is always better to avoid pruning roots and branches at the same time. If we do both the things at the same time, our plants may get a big shock after repotting. First, it's better to prune the branches and let the plant settle down at least for a few days, let's say 15 to 20 days or even for one month. After that, we can prune roots and then repot. Having said that, we can obviously do these two things at the same time. Usually I do both the things together or sometimes I prune the branch in advance. For example, I waited for 20 days for this plant after pruning. Because of that, it has already started producing the new growths and today I am going to report plus going to prune the roots. What is the best time to prune edenium? To get the best result, it's better if we prune in the mid to end of February. This is the best time and they are going to get enough chances to grow well during the growing time which is the summer. If you miss the time, no worries. You can prune at any time during the growing time, that is summer. We must avoid pruning in winter. I would say it's better to stop pruning from August onwards. So how to prune the branches? It's quite simple. This edenium plants has lots of leggy branches, so I am going to do hard pruning. Before pruning, please make sure to sterilize your pruning device and I am using that all here. Normally, whenever we prune other plants, for example hibiscus, we cut in 45 degree angle. But for edenium, I usually cut horizontally. I do this as the stems are somewhat softer and bigger. At any time, if I am unable to make a very sharp cut, it may damage the branch. Please feel free to do as you like. I am referring to my own preferences. After pruning, please use some fungicide. Here I am using a biofungicide and that is why using with bare hands, though it's not recommended. Also note, the sap is toxic. Not only that, all parts of edenium plants are toxic. So it's always a good idea to use gloves while pruning and doing all the things. Today itself, I would also report this plant, but I am not going to do any kinds of root pruning on this plant. I have pruned roots in some of my other plants and that's why let's move to the another episode and there I am going to show you the most essential things we need to do. While growing the adenium plants, it's a good idea to raise the base of the plants every year when we report and we do this to get a bigger codex. 
Now in some plants, I don't like to see the fiber roots from the cordex going here and there. In that case, I prune the roots. Before pruning the roots, take out the plant from the pot carefully. Next, clean all the roots and get rid of the old soil. I am using normal tap water. Now we can start pruning the roots. I am pruning most of the fiber roots along with some bigger roots which were growing from the top part of the cordex. This way after repotting my plant, it's going to look fresh and much portion of the cordex would be visible clearly. Please always use a sharp device to prune the roots and avoid hurting the cordex. After pruning roots, we need to do the next important thing. Here I am taking a bucket and pouring 2 teaspoons of same fungicide whatever I have used before. I am using a bio fungicide and you can already see this on screen. After that keep your adenum plant like this way in water for next 1 to 2 hours. We don't want any fungus attack on our plants after pruning the roots. Use the same water on the branches too. Please note, even if you don't prune your plants, be it either stems or roots, you can always do this thing while reporting. It's done and we can report our adenium. For the potting soil mix, I am taking 4 different components. 30% sand, 30% normal garden soil, 20% vermicompost and 20% lacquer. Instead of lacquer, we can use higher percentage of sand. reported my plant successfully. I have shared everything about pruning branches to roots and after doing everything I have reported. Let me give you a quick update. This is the footage just after 30 days. The plants are looking beautiful, aren't they? Anyway please let me know what you think. Please again note that it's not a good idea to prune both the branches and roots at the same time as I said earlier. Finally saying again, best time to prune is February middle to end. What to do with the pruned branches? There is no need to throw them and we can easily grow adenium plants from cuttings. I already have a video with full updates and in case you are interested in knowing, please check out the next video. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like. Share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. Have a great time and enjoy.